Rosie. I'm Lillian and I am a service dog in training handler and that is my service dog in training, Rosie. Her real name is Black Rose. We call her Rosie here. It is awesome. We're peachy. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying, but it's cool. So today we are going to Petco. Basically kind of like our first official um, PA training. It's pet friendly. There's gonna be other animals there. That's the main thing that I'm worried about. Um. Hi. So anyway, there's gonna be other dogs there. That's the one thing I'm nervous about because, yeah, it's stressful. Um, I might see if we can get a tractor supply too. It's also pet friendly. I'm not taking her into any non-pet friendly stores yet just because I wanna get her used to being in an environment. She's not going to be vested, so she's not, uh, we don't have her gear for, uh, well, we don't have all of her gear for working and whatnot, so I'm just going to take, like, the basic stuff, and then we'll see how it goes in there. She's not going to be vested um, or labeled as her dog. I am going to be task training with her. But, and we're going to be training, like, distractions, obviously. She's going to have her prong on, like prongs or not. It's what's working best for us. She's going to have her prong on. Um, she's going to have her regular color, which is identical to this color. Good girl. So her regular color is identical to this color, but it has her tags on there, um, which has her rabies shots on it. Mm. You joke, good girl. Um. <laughs> Yeah, give me those kisses. So anyway, um, that's basically, so basically that's the one thing I'm concerned about is other people. She's not going to be vested. She's not going to be any of that stuff. This is strictly for training purposes. We're not going into any um, non-pet friendly places, even though she's technically legally allowed in there. Um, that's a step for another direction. I do believe that starting out, you need to do small trips and doing pet friendly or non pet friendly that's up to you we're gonna start out with some pet friendly places um the ones we have closest to um our house is a pet co and a tractor supply we have a pet smart too um but that's a little further away so we're definitely going to pet co that's what's happening we're just gonna get ready to go um so yeah no <laughs> um, so yeah. So we're just gonna get ready. Let's. So yeah. Um, let's get on with the video. Got an itch. No. The over to our non-organized gear closet. There's stuff up there. There's poop bags, which you guys saw last time. I'm gonna be bringing this, just because she's probably gonna poop up in the store. Extra poop bags, I'm not bringing those. I'm gonna get cuter ones right now, they're just black. There are extra prongs up here, basic essentials. I'm probably gonna use this leash right here for a seatbelt until I can get the seat belt and seat covers I'm wanting. Uh, we have socks and Neosporin for any like abrasions, cuts, or anything that she gets. We have lots of treats. We have raw hide bones, whether you agree with those or not. We have more treats. We have this. Even though she's potty trained, she still has accidents. You put this over it and then when it dries, you can vacuum it up and then wash her carpets or whatever. And we have this just because, why not? Um, and then she has all of her toys laid out here so she can like come grab them and whenever she wants. So we have this, which is supposed to be for e-collar that she doesn't have um 
but I also use it as a traffic lead because it fits right. We're going to be using this leash today just because it's my favorite leash to use. It's in decent condition. Um, then we just have some collars. This is her first collar or puppy. It was, it's big enough. It still fits her, but not, it doesn't look right on her. Also this one, which you guys have seen this one before because we used this one for, um, this was going to be her working collar, but then we changed it, which is fun. This, this one is her working collar. It has, on the other side of this, it has her rabies information. Um, I don't have, we don't have her, um, we don't have her registry information on there yet, um, because, yeah, um, but this is what she's going to be wearing. It's identical to the one she's wearing, just brand new. I literally just bought it this weekend. Um, then we have this big collar. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's also a buckle collar, which I don't like these kind of collars. I like these ones but um it's supposed to be for her prong but it didn't really work how I wanted it to and then her prong just hangs right there hello oh I put your menu away didn't I I'm very sorry so yeah we're going to be using her prong we're going to be using this we're going to be using this and we will gear up later and her treat pouch which is right here so we're just gonna get ready and yeah. Alright, so we're just getting ready to go, so I'm going to pack my bag um, and then get Rosie ready and we're going to head out. Good here.
good here. So she's feeling very well. I'm, it's a loose leash. I'm not even talking very much. Look at that. Is that a puppy bed? Do you want a cat bed? Leave it. Good girl. Yes. Good. He's a good girl. Wait. All right, let's go. Heel. Heels. Yes. Leave it. Thank you.
Deal. Thank you. Yeah, give me one second. I'm coming. And yes, for anyone wondering, she is getting rewarded. She got a whole rawhide bone to chew on just for right now. Um, and she's gotten plenty of treats. That's just a reward that says, oh, you did an awesome job and that you did good and that's what you need to do every time. Yeah, so she's she's having fun. I get in my car.